Hello Taurus and welcome to your new moon in Taurus card reading. So the new moon in Taurus is happening on the 22nd of April, which is also Earth Day. Um, the new moon is conjunct with Uranus, which means that there's going to be some kind of shakeups and changes having to do with the things that Taurus rules, um, which is values, which is um, money, which is, you know, finances and prosperity. Um, also grounding because this is Earth Day. You know, Earth Day is very much about the Earth and the Earth is our biggest source of grounding. So the new moon is a great time to set intentions, set new intentions. Um, and this reading is really going to revolve around grounding, prosperity, growth, and liberation. The 22nd of April is also the final 444 portal of 2020. So um, the first four is for the month of April. The second four is two plus two for the 22nd. And then the third four is uh, two plus zero plus two plus zero, which is four. This is a four universal year. So um, this four, the first 444 portal was on the 4th of April. And there was one also on the 13th. And then there is one on the 22nd of April. So that's the final portal. And so this 444 portal has been a time of really rapid ascension for lots of us. So if you've been experience some, experiencing some things since the 4th of April, um, maybe some digestive things, headaches, just kind of not feeling physically really well or having kind of crazy dreams, um, that definitely is the 444 portal. So we will go ahead and get into your reading, Taurus. So the first card that I have pulled for you is the Three of Cups. So this is Rejoice and Celebration. Um, you know, Taurus is, uh, as you know, Taurus is all about, uh, you know, luxury and the finer things and working to get those things. And so, you know, you've been doing a lot of work to get the things that you want. And now is a time to celebrate. This is just a really positive card. Um, this might be a time of growth that you're experiencing. This might be a time of prosperity. This might be a time of liberation where you're able to look at, you know, some of the old values that you had, some of these things in the shadows um, or in this background and really intentionally setting some new values and, and, and allowing yourself to celebrate those changes, celebrate those new things that have come in. Three is also a number of celebration in numerology. Um, the traditional tarot depiction of this card is three women that are together um, celebrating, just like the three hands we have here, raising a glass to toast. So, um, you know, this is, as I mentioned, the new moon is a great time to set some intentions and know that um, you can celebrate the things that are coming, that it's going to be really positive, prosperous. Um, it's just going to be really good. The next card that I pulled for you is the uh, throat chakra card. And so this is a number five card uh, in the chakras. And so five is a number of change. Um, the throat chakra also rules, you know, the things that we speak, the things that we think, and the things that we hear. So the throat chakra rules the space from um, just below the eyes to um, just above the collarbone. So, you know, it rules the ears, the mouth, and the throat. So just kind of paying attention to the things that you're saying, thinking, um, speaking at this time, um, whether you know, you're know you saying things to people or you're speaking things to yourself, um, it, it's always a good idea to bring awareness to the things that we think. You know, mind, mindset is very valuable. It's, it's very important in attracting what we want and you know, adjusting our mindset to prevent us from attracting what we don't want is a power that we all have. Um, it, you know, with this Taurus new moon conjunct Uranus, um, you might find that there are some things that you need to change about the way that you think, your, your mindset, or the way that you speak. Um, and this might be speaking up for yourself. This might be uh, choosing to speak to yourself in a more kind way. Um, if you have a lot of internal criticism that's happening, like this card is really calling you to pay attention to, you know, the things that you say in your mind, the things that you speak about yourself, the things that you speak to yourself. Um, you know, this 
this shakeup with the conjunction of Uranus and the new moon it is always for our highest good, you know, and a lot of times we don't like changes and we don't like shakeups, but um, those things have to happen because as human beings, we all have an ego and the ego craves uh, comfort and, and complacency, you know, and change doesn't come from comfort. Change comes from discomfort. So, you know, there can be a, a lot of difficulty in trying to force change by ourselves you know, but with this planetary alignment, this conjunction between Uranus and the Taurus new moon, Uranus is bringing some shakeups to us. You know, it's bringing some changes to us that, that really need to happen and are for our highest good. So if you experience some things with, uh, with regards to like how you speak, what you say, using your voice, choosing not to use your voice, um, if any of those things have some drastic changes, um, just know that that has to do with the Uranus conjunction with the new moon. And it's also for your highest, best good. You know, with Taurus, um, it has a lot of grounding energy because it's an earth sign and it's, you know, 422 is earth day. But that grounding also has to do with boundaries. You know, that um, we, when we are grounded, when we are rooted in who we are, we can develop a really strong listening boundary. You know, the throat chakra rules the ears. And that listening boundary, if it's rooted, you know, if it's strong in who we are, people can tell us things and we know they are not true about us. So they don't pass through that filter of the listening boundary. In the same token, if our listening boundary is not very strong, the things that people say to us can be absorbed as if they are our truths. So, you know, if you are hearing things about yourself from others that just don't feel good to you, that you don't value, um, this is the time for you to really work on those boundaries of, of choosing what you will listen to and what you will not listen to, using your voice to say, you know, I don't appreciate that criticism or, you know, why, why would you say that to me? Like, what was the purpose of that? Um, you know, because... As I mentioned, we're all humans, we all have egos, and some of us are more and less aware than others. So that's your second card. Um, the third card is the universe. So this is, um, in the traditional tarot, this is equivalent to the world card, which is, you know, the culmination of things. You know, that maybe you have been going through a lesson um, and, you know, this Taurus new moon has to do with growth and liberation. And so, you know, when we complete a lesson, there's an intense amount of growth that can come from it. And, you know, when we are lucky enough that we complete, um, you know, a life lesson or a soul lesson, there's a lot of liberation that can come from that. So it's a really positive thing. Um, if we look at the numerology of 21, two plus one is three. You know, we've got the three of cups here celebration you know so really you've got kind of a, a celebration sandwich <laughs> which is kind of nice you know that um that you are you know coming into this time um with celebration in mind you know setting those positive intentions for prosperity that you're gonna do some changing some growing um you know some yeah there's gonna be some things shaken up around like the throat chakra listening speaking boundaries and that you know this is all of this is the culmination of a lesson to you know help you grow into the best highest version of yourself and also to help you come to um liberation to be more in alignment with the values of what is important to you instead of the values that you were given that you perhaps don't agree with anymore also this is just a great card because you know the 422 is the final 444 portal so this is really a culmination of that ascension as well um so yeah this is just a really positive reading taurus um i hope you have a beautiful new moon and that you enjoyed the reading and um i will see you for the full moon reading bye